Welcome to AI Late to Class. Learn Comfy UI Infinite Talk 1, 2.1, and 2.2 video using GGUF and FP8 models. Subscribe today. In the quiet of the night I find Whispers of the heart alive Memories of love entwined Underneath the stars that shine Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. Got a new model to try today called Infinite Talk. It's another lip syncer and it wasn't that long ago I said hey, Fantasy Portrait is the best lip syncer out there. Well, I've changed my mind now. This thing is way better. We don't have those sort of like a sliding window that sort of does flashing after you've gone past your 81 frames. This thing just cleanly goes as long as you want it to go. And as you can see from the start, you can do talking and you can do singing. Um, so it's image to video or video to video. So the, I've tried the video to video and... It just cleanly wipes over whatever lips were there and just does it all again. You would never know that was the same video. This thing is absolutely amazing. In the workflow now, and we'll see over here, we've sort of changed it so that you've got multi-talk and the infinite in the one there. So you choose, on this case, we're going to do infinite talk. It's set to auto, so it'll know from our input. If we go way over to the start here, we can see that where the multi-talk model gets clicked in, we've now got the infinite talk inside there. So this is where our change is. We've got to upload our infinite model in there. And uh, you can put GGUF in there. And But if you do so, you must also have a GGUF file in your one video model loader. And I've found this particular... Light2x did not work with the GGUF. Uh, the other one did, the lower version did. I'm not too sure why that is, um, but I've moved up because I wanted better quality, so I've gone for the FP8 version, and I've used the Fusion X um, because it's got CauseVid inside it as well, so I've found that one is probably the best result, and... If you're looking up here, I do have my block swap at 40, so that's because I've got low VRAM, any lower, and it just wasn't working for me. If you're not um, familiar with this in ComfyUI, you do need your one 2.1 VA safe tensor. You need a text encoder in this box here, the UMT5XXL. I'll have the link in the comments to all of these. This does require a Clip Vision H. As well, I have Sage Attention on there to try and get things sped up if you have that working on your computer. So anyway, you just upload the image. I just did this image in um, Whisk. I've got your sizing here. I've just made it a square on this version here. And just upload our audio. So I made my voice in there. I just went over to 11 Labs. And I actually used the model designer V3 and just said like a warrior type guy. And so that made the type of voice I was after. And then just typed it in and generated that, downloaded that, and then brought that into my workflow. So it's pretty much that simple. Take notice to how long your audio is. In this case, it's 16 seconds. So we have to come down here and change that to 16 this is going to be the length of our video. Uh, we have to also come down here and go um, 16 times 25 because we want it 25 frames a second. So that's 400. Type that in there. And then we make sure that we go over here, see how this number of frames. I just changed that to 400. That's uh, your frame rate in there too at 25 underneath. And... We come up here, we've also got our prompt up here as well. I've just kept it really simple. Oh, this one here, um, that was for the girl at the start. And I just had a beautiful, and I had woman. So you can sort of see it. Just keep it really simple, right? And so the only way I can explain this is if we go over to the website here. It's by this company here, Maging. And it's just 
a better version of multi-talk is a way of saying it. It can do multiple people. Um, they do have the models released for that. That's a separate model, but I haven't got the Confi working for that yet. But um, so you can look on the website. There's quite a lot of clips there. There's some really good examples. I don't want to play them. You get the picture. Yeah, so how did I make the song? I just went over to Udo, come in here, create, typed in female singer, singing folk song, left it on auto-generate, because you can put in your own lyrics here, clicking custom, but I just want to do something quick, and did that. Then I go over here, download the song as MP3, because this is the free account. Then I once I got that, I went into this vocal remover. You can see you've got your tracks there. And when I save it, I can just click vocal music. I just want the vocal. And so when we go back into how Conf UI, we can just upload that vocal track so it doesn't have all of that music going on. This is probably the better way. There is other ones that remove the instruments within Conf UI. I don't really rely on that. I'd rather have a more professional company do that. And so we just upload our image and then our vocal, and that's all we need to do. Then we can use another application. I use Adobe Premiere to put the two tracks back together, so just have new video and the original song underneath, and then you just mute the new video, so you've got a nice, clean music video. Hey, just want to mention this website, Running Hub. It's got a lot of good workflows on here, as you can see, even with this first one, Infinite, uh, with the camera movement, and... There's lots and lots of different types of workflows on Infinite Talk, so definitely worth going. Anyway, the models that you need, um, if you're looking for the GGUF, here they are here. I'll have their link in the comments for that. You can go to Kaijai as usual for this. There's the folder there, and you can see them, but those are FP16s, a little bit too big, 5 gigs for those. Uh, or while you're here, you'll need that Light X2Vs, and if you go further down, you'll have the Fusion X down there. But the one I'm actually using are these FP8s. Now, all three of these uh, repositories are by Kai Jai, so I don't know why he scattered them in three places, but that's where you get them from. Just before I go on to video to video workflow, I'll just show this clip. That was a cartoon that I tried. So same process. I made a song in Udo, made a cartoon image in Whisk, and then I split the audio and that, put it all back together, and this is what I come up with. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a hard image, but it actually came off really well. Even these two people in the background were dancing. So my prompt was dancing cartoon line with stereo, and that chord was also um, moving as well. So it could understand that that was a chord, which is really amazing. In the video to video workflow, it's a lot bigger, but really all we need to know is that we just upload our video over here. So I've uploaded that first guy. And it's basically you just want to start again, have a different voice, have him saying something different. So I've gone over here, I've got my audio up here. Um, Brothers, the time has come to rise. Beyond these walls... So you get it, and when I've outputted that, it's come out with this. ...to rise. Beyond these walls lies knowledge, power, and victory. Follow me to AI Late to Class. Subscribe and join the charge. Yeah, I thought multi-talk was good, but this is just way better. So if you've got video where you don't like the actor's voice and you want to change their voice or you don't like something they said, this can be all fixed up. Or you can go back in old movies and just change dialogue. This is such a great product. Anyway, um, I'm going to go. So subscribe and like and see you in some other videos.